Oh. Oh. I interrupt you for one sec. Let's get you to come out to the floor for two minutes. I just want to show you something you might be able to use. Okay, I just want to show you this, and I haven't actually shown any classes. This I don't know why, it just didn't occur to me. Um, but you might be able to find it useful. Um, really simple example. Let's say I say, now, did we talk about the X and the Y? Group? Yes. We did. Okay, so you know the cat's currently standing at zero, yeah. and if the cat goes this way, X gets bigger, yeah. and that way X gets smaller, or actually X gets minus. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So if I did something like um, set X, and I set X to a certain number, let's say I set X to 200, right? Then if I was to run this little block of code, what's going to happen? What's the cat going to do? It's going to go to X. Where, where would it go? Which way? That way. This way. Right, okay. right. So if I do that, sure enough, okay, the cat goes to X200. If I set this to another number like um, minus 200, let's say, and I did that, where would the cat go? Okay. Back the other end. So depending on what the X value is for the cat, is how left or right it is on the screen. Okay? Now, I just want to show you something. If I was to do something like just do that forever. All right, now, at the moment, that's pretty pointless, right? Because if I just do, if I right-click that, I'm forever going to minus 200. And if I, you can see it's running because it's got the yellow outline. And if I was to sort of change this number halfway through, so if I change this to 100, you can see like that's 100. If I took a zero off the end, it would go back to 10. So as that number's changing, the cat would move to a different position because it's forever being told to move to that X position. Does that make sense? No. Okay. So here's the trick I wanted to show you. If I create a variable. And let's just call it um, x pulse, x position, right? So I've created a variable called x pulse, and I'm going to set the value to x pulse. Now, what's the current value of x pulse? Zero. Zero, right? That's just why the cat's going back to the middle of the screen. But if you right-click on one of these little blocks here, oops, I might have to stop it to do this. If you right-click on, hello, right? If I right-click on it. See how it's got this thing called slider? You can turn the slider on, and by sliding, I can change the value of Xbox, of that variable. Now, if I'm running my program while I'm doing that, and I slide the slider, what's going to happen? It's going to move. Right, so the slider is actually going to slide the cat. Oh, right? Because as, as I'm changing the value of Xbox, mm -hmm. it's here, and I'm forever looking at what that value is, and whatever it is, I'm going to that position. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, you might be able to make use of that. So if you've got designs that are making colours or you're changing the thickness of the pen or any of those sorts of things where something needs to change, you can create a variable for it and then the slider on the variable can make you easily sort of change the, the value of that variable. Does that make sense? Yeah.